Uh, yes, but there's a reason for it. It's the way they're brought up through society. So I think it's society's problem. But there's been a lot of turn since the suffragette movement in the beginning of this century. I think when women were allowed to vote, there was a big elevation in women's thinking. And then in 65, with the Equal Rights Bill, when women got equal pay, uh, it also elevated their thinking that, you know, they're women and they're equal to men. So that wasn't their last century. You know, they were stuck in the houses. We brought them out in the Industrial Revolution and stuck them into factories. That elevated them a little bit. But through the suffragette movement and through the uh, Equal Rights Bill, we find that women are now coming to the forefront. They're country leaders. Uh, we've got Ida Buttrose and people like that in this country that are really excelling now and, and being as forceful in business as any man. I think, you know, the man's competitive now. Sure. And just looking at a few women in the, in the public eye like that just shows that this assertiveness coming out. And I think the big problem is to admit to yourself that you're not equal to men. I mean, I won't admit I'm equal to anybody else. You know, I train hard and I look after myself. Mm -hmm. So if women can take a message from that and just be more assertive. Sure. Just, Let's know. go across to the Bob uh, Cox Memorial spot and uh, we'll do this. We'll call that that because we had a gentleman on yesterday had this amazing golf machine, which I didn't understand from the start to the finish. But I understand what you're doing. And let's introduce also to the spot the lovely Anne Will. Oh. <laughs> now, I know that you and Bob have uh, been together before the show and you've organised all sorts of little things that you're going to do, but I now, of course, am the novice. You have to explain to me what you want me to do. I've got to attack Anne, don't I? Yes. Right, OK. Uh, first one from behind, I'm told. I think if we come up from behind in a street situation, so the people at home can relate to the simplicity sure. of these things. Okay. Yep. What say, I'm walking. What say I do it and then we'll talk about it, which I think always, has, always works in life. Do it and then we'll talk about it. It's OK? And I'll give you a rating. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. We're walking along the street. Right, walking, walking. What is it, Collins Street or Burke Street? Ah, uh, Burke Street. Burke Street. Okay, Burke Street. That's the Burke Street look. Like the Collins Street look. Here we go. This is Burke Street. Oh, my God. Look, well, I know, but would you like to explain to everyone now what Anne has done uh, to me, Bob? Before it should be a bit higher. Well, well, yes. So if we start okay. the initial grab where you immobilised it, you locked your fingers together. This was the favourite part, by the way. <laughs> yes, the, I liked it. Then. The important issue is that she claims your hand so you can... I can't move them. Now. Right, yeah. right. And now, then she can just throw the head back into your face. Which she did, yes. Yeah. If you're a little bit too tall, she drives this heel up into the groin to bring you forward. Yeah, which she then did. Then she'd come into the face. Right. And of course, she could do that for half an hour back and forth. You're kidding. She won't be doing it for half an hour at all. <laughs> She'll do the Cullen Street walk naturally. Okay, this is the. Uh, this is what do I do here? Oh, we're looking at holding hands. Okay. Uh, holding hands, and all of a sudden I decide to. Race me off. Get your wrist broken. Race her off. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to race her off. Walking yeah. along, and all of a sudden I do. Oh, my God. Careful, Anne. <laughs> yeah. That certainly does work. Now, explain to everyone, Bob, what Anne has done. Well, that's a basic policeman's lock that. Uh, Would you like to show me with your. Okay. Yes. Yeah, well, police cadets are trained this in, in very basic self-defence courses where they come under the arm yep. to, to put, you know, drunks and things into, into the divisional van. Yep. So if you're going to get stuck in the divisional van, you pin the arm, yeah. pull the hand down, which opens the joint, and then you turn the hand out. Now, the downward movement you don't mind too much, but just watch your reaction when I twist it out. Oh! <laughs> You come here and host and start on the one show. You can let people come on and break your bloody <laughs> wrist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what about you and uh, Anne doing something together? Well, let's just get first of all. <laughs> I just, show, I just like to show the ladies at home that there's a right and a wrong way to do everything, and particularly in self-defence. Right. If you do it the right way, yes, it works nicely. Fine. Because <laughs> 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 I'm a brave boy. <laughs>